House Republicans approved the most sweeping rewrite of the U.S. tax code in a generation on Tuesday but immediately ran into trouble with Senate rules and will have to vote again on Wednesday. The House passed the bill 227-203, with 12 Republicans voting against the plan and no Democrats supporting it. Final passage of the measure will mark the first major legislative success for Trump since taking office. However, the bill will face a procedural hurdle, forcing the House to vote on it again as two minor parts in the bill fell foul of the Senate's parliamentary rules. Unless stripped, the bill would require 60 votes to pass in the Senate instead of a simple majority, and problem which would likely doom its chances of passage. Democrats say the failure to write a bill that would comply with Senate rules a avoidable misstep underscores the slapdash manner and lightning fast speed at which Republicans assembled their tax overhaul. In the mad dash to provide tax breaks for their billionaire campaign contributors, our Republican colleagues forgot to comply with the rules of the Senate, Senator Bernie Sanders, the ranking member of the Budget Committee, and Senator Ron Wyden, the ranking member of the Finance Committee said in a joint statement. Instead of providing tax breaks to the wealthiest people and most profitable corporations, we need to rebuild the disappearing middle class, they added, making clear that they intended to raise the issue and force Republicans to re-vote. Democrats raised the same complaint when Senate Republicans provided lawmakers with a copy the 500-page tax plan hours before a vote was scheduled on the legislation. In an online video, Senator John Tester, Democrat of Montana, called it Washington, D.C. at its worst as he flipped through the pages, showing off the handwritten changes in the margins. After the Senate bill was passed, congressional negotiators worked in a conference committee to correct drafting errors and address concerns over special interest provisions slipped in at the last minute. The Senate is still expected to vote on the legislation on Tuesday after stripping out the two offending provisions. One measure allows those using college savings plans towards the cost of home schooling. The other would exempt colleges with fewer than 500 students from being hit by a tax on college endowment. That provision only affects one school, Berea College in Kentucky. A third issue related to the legislation's short title, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. After the House vote, Trump praised House Republican leadership for delivering the $1.5 TN tax cut plan. Congratulations to Paul Ryan, Kevin McCarthy, Kevin Brady, Steve Scalise, Kathy McMorris Rogers and all great House Republicans who voted in favor of cutting your taxes. Despite the delay, Congress is still expected to send the bill to Trump in time to deliver what he has promised would be a big, beautiful Christmas present for the nation. Nancy Pelosi, the House Minority Leader, went so far as it call it the worst bill in history in a press conference on Tuesday. She described it as an all-out looting of America, a wholesale robbery of the middle class and said, the GOP tax scam will go down, again, as one of the worst, most scandalous acts of plutocracy in our history.